The last stage in our process of ecological succession is the climax stage. The climax stage is characterized by the type of vegetation that is best suited for that particular habitat. Remember, in terms of soil types, moisture, that is precipitation levels, and also in terms of nutrient availability and temperature. All of those affect and set the stage for the climax vegetation. That whole process of ecological succession has pointed to this final stage. Now, where we're filming today, high in the Catskills in New York, next to the upper Eusopus, is a classic example of one of the types of climaxes that's very common in the Northeast. That's hemlock, beech, and maple. Surrounding me are giant hemlock trees probably original virgin timber. Some of these trees have to date back a couple hundred years in age. What is characteristic of this climax community? Well, probably the most important thing is its stability. This is stable throughout time if left undisturbed. Stability is measured ecologically by what is known as the photosynthesis to respiration ratio, or the PR ratio. Basically what this means is that this PR ratio equal to 1, the photosynthesis, that is, the amount of tissue produced, is equal to respiration, that is, the amount of tissue involved in respiration, uh, actual release of CO2, or death and decomposition. It will remain at a PR ratio of 1 throughout time. That's characteristic of climax. Second, and very important, in this particular habitat, there is no net accumulation of organic matter. You can look in the forest floor around me and see that there is very little organic matter. That is to say that what is produced is also decomposed and recycled back into the food chain. A third characteristic of this climax community is that there is an increase in the greatest abundance and diversity of species. Uh, the classic study done with this was in Georgia, where they traced the number of bird species, starting with the pioneer stage up through and including the climax stage. And there was approximately a tenfold increase in birds in both diversity and abundance. Diversity meaning the number of different species, and abundance, of course, meaning total number, from the pioneer stage to the final climax vegetation. In fact, the number of species changed from approximately 25 in the pioneer to close to 300 different, close to 300, excuse me, in total abundance of birds in that climax vegetation. Climax vegetation, as I mentioned, is self-perpetuating. There is very little example anymore of a true long-lived climax vegetation in the Northeast because of all the timbering that's occurred. These hemlocks, these monster aged hemlocks around us, it is very surprising they survive for this length of time. Because in this area of the Catskills, the hemlocks were little, literally ravaged for the tannery industry. These trees were cut down and stripped of bark simply for the bark. The wood was often deserted and just left behind, removing the bark to get the tannic acid to be used for the process of tanning hides so that it's unique to find this kind of habitat. But this is true climax vegetation.